This video is the second part on how the skills of mindfulness help you when things go wrong. So the main topic I want to start with is core views. So one of the things about mindfulness over time, general mindfulness, is that you start to get a sense of the way that you approach life, the way that you think about life. You start to get a sense of how your moods and attitudes are determined about how the way that you see things. So, for example, if you do have a can-do attitude, if you have a, a view that actually you're not completely powerless, but you do have some power and you can change things both in the outside world and within yourself, then that's uh, a core view. And it's sort of part of seeing that is part of mindfulness. Uh, you might notice the opposite. You might notice that somehow or another you've picked up the core view that actually you're powerless both internally, you can't change anything, you're just a victim, uh, and that things around you and in the world are unchangeable and nothing really can be done. And if there's something going wrong, it's just a disaster because you can't do anything. You just have to let it work itself out. Uh, and part of mindfulness is becoming aware of your core views in these ways. Do you have a sense of just, you know, you can't do anything, or that you can do something. Uh, and if you notice that you have a core view that actually you're just a victim in all this, you can't do anything, you can't change anything externally or internally, uh, then uh, it, you have a choice. Do you really believe that? So that's one of the, the aspects of questioning core views that comes out of general mindfulness. Is this true? And uh, do I really believe that? It might feel true, uh, but is it true? So in this way, you can actually kind of change core views. Uh, and one of the core views that is most helpful in the process of dealing with things when they're difficult is that you can do something. <laughs> you can do something internally and externally. And you can question. You know, uh, I'm worried about this. What needs to be done? What would best help? Uh, and uh, would this work, for example? And internally, uh, what would help me calm down and be more focused on this? And that might simply just be to do a, a mindfulness on the breath or on the body, or some exercise, or go for a walk, or talk with a friend. So the questioning is based on the basic view and premise that actually you can get a clearer perspective on things and act accordingly. So part of this is actually seeing that if you do something, it makes a difference. If you're all jittery and uh, anxious and in a certain way and you're not really sure why initially and you just start to focus on your body and your breath, noticing that it calms you down, it makes a difference. So actually getting a sense of letting that experience weigh against, oh, I can't do anything. Well, you can do something. So you start to have confidence in this process of going, what do I need to do here? What would help? And in that way you do it, and confidence in that process uh, then starts to arise. Now there's, there's something quite interesting about when things go wrong. Uh, there are different ways that one can approach that 
in in terms of oh no I don't want to deal with it or well bring it on let's really find a way through this rising to the challenge and enjoying the process of working it out even though it's still difficult so it's not denying the difficulty it's not being over controlling uh, but it is actually taking into account that something can change. And in that way, there is a sort of rolling up your sleeves. <laughs> I've just rolled up my sleeves. Rolling up your sleeves and relishing the process of finding out what the situation is, what would help, and the, the engaging with that process. So that engaging with the process basically comes out of uh, having the core view that you are able to do something. You are instrumental in the process. Uh, you're not just the recipient of the situation. You're an active component in the situation. And this sort of comes out of the fundamental principles of awareness and noticing what's going on. Noticing your basic attitudes and views about things and learning about yourself over time. <laughs>